Josh and Adam has got exhaust problems, boys, ain't you? Yeah. Right, what it is, it keeps switching off on him. It goes three miles, it's switched off 16 times, but you can't restart it, you can't bump start it, you have to stop it and then start it again. It's coming up with DPF bunged up. I've can't just... bring a decent mechanic because we're in fucking bed. <laughs> we have just ran video, <laughs> ran video up our, our DPF expert, and he says, yeah, you can have it because we're going to take it off and put the, well, I was going to put the jetter down it, but Vince said it's not a very good idea because it's got ceramic in there, lad, so I won't put the jetter down. Did he say that? Yeah, it's got ceramic How in it. Did you get these off, Chris? <sighs> it's all right. Silly rubbers. <coughs> Do you need a bit of lubrication? Yeah, you need a bit of lubrication right in a part, but, don't you? Oh, that a bit clear a little bit there, aren't they? Get the stretch line. Yeah, should I get a bit of lubrication, a bit of a, rub, a bit of a bar, mate? Yeah. Yeah, Vinay says, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do it with the Jetta because there's that thing of ceramic in there. He says, you can bung one end up and put some cleaning stuff down it. You can buy some, he says, some winds. He says, you can also try putting a dishwasher tablet in it and some boiling water. But we're going to just get a pressure wash out because it is really black sooty in there. So we'll, we'll let you know how we get on with the DPF cleaning system, guys. Oh, it could be a canter. If you're just a little less of a wanker. <laughs> More than half of the time. Hang on, you need this thing off. Is that what Adam's gone to get? 22 mil. 22, shot 22. Well, what's he going to get? 21. That's 22. 22? 22. I think it's 22, yeah. Yeah, it's 22, right? 22. 22. Uh, there we go. No, don't take the bottom one. I took the top one off now. Oh, oh, fucking hell, look what you got. That's all you got. <laughs> Give me 22, you're fine. No, not that, I never end. It's the only 22, you're fine. What's <laughs> this? This is one of those quick ones, isn't it? <laughs> You want to look like you're busy. <laughs> 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 Always turning it. Hey, this, is, hey, this one you can charge welding, mate. Um, oh, yeah, right in front of you. No. Is it? Is it? That's what? Is it rounded? It doesn't look like it's. Well, there's a plug up here, Chris. I didn't know whether it unplugged, did it? But... Oh, if it unplugged. Do we... Where's the plug going? Yeah. Let's go plug it then. Get that mountain off there, then, Josh. Oh! Is it a oh, oh, you've got more. Can we go and get a 22 mil? I don't know where the whereabouts will it be, Chris. Ad, you're right, mate. I can't find one either. <laughs> I can't find one. I can't find one. I can't find one, mate. You're right, mate. Chris, I found this old spanner you're cutting off. That's the only one you got. <laughs> we're welded together so we can have a pull in again. Chris, what? Isn't there a market in, the, in this now for a window for you to get a computer up, hook in there, and erase everyone's DPS? Yeah, and erase them all. Yeah, see. Well, yeah, but the trouble is, exhaust is bunged up. That's the whole thing. So even if you raise it all, the exhaust gases aren't coming out. You're not like. the middle out of the GPS. Yeah, that's it. Just knock the fucking thing out and then switch it off. Isn't it? Because nobody wants them anyway, do they? Just a hindrance to life, aren't they? There you see. Yeah. I'm going to let the handbrake off. Come on, wiggle it out then, Chris. What? I thought you lot was doing that. It's loose. It's loose. Oh, yeah, it feels loose. feels really fucking loose, that does. Let me do it, you've got to pull it back. Don't drag you out. Let me straight out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wankers here. Try and do them now. Look, I can't. Come on, I'll put that. Come on, piece of rubbish. Come on, fuck it. Try and do them in a fucking favour. Look. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just roll me away, guys. That's what you do when you do favours for people. This is the thanks you get, isn't it, Lils? It's just like you're treated like dirt at this place. I don't like doing these DPF cleans. Huh? Why well, you have to blow through it? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Is that why? Is that why all them DPF people have beers? <laughs> why? Why did you? Why did you? What are you doing? Just... I just did it for the fun. I got that and grew out with it. One hand. <laughs> Clean it out, it was sucking in the, the, the sot out, Josh, weren't you? You don't need smoke. 
Watch that right, so shall we try the hot water and a tablet in it? Bung up one end. Hot tablet? A, a, a dishwash tablet. Did he say that? Yeah. You need a lot of kettle. Yeah, you need a big kettle for that, don't you? Shall we try the airline first, I thought? Yeah, try the airline, see what it does. <coughs> then we'll go for that. And Vin says if it doesn't work, Ro, you can ring him and he'll come and have a look tomorrow. Oh, look at that, though. Hi, I'm Joshua, and I like wearing I fake moustaches. I am the DCF cleaner. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Let's see how much suck comes out of here, then, Joshua. Oh, How are we going? Your lamps now? Yeah, just set them Yeah, inside it. Oh, buddy! That's the kid, eh? Do you want your tea up here, Rad? Yeah, thanks, mate. I've really just noticed that. It's health and safety device, look. Fork left. That's a good health. That's a bit health and safety ish, isn't it? Not for his life, man. I know, that's what I mean. It's fucking. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why, mate. Like that, they they went... Went... Wicked dick, you know. Yes. For all your DPF cleaners, please don't hesitate to contact Josh on 077 Your work's my time. My time's your pleasure. Pleasure. Bye, ladies. <laughs> Let's see if this works. That's the main thing, Mr. DPF, man. Will it work? Is there any warranty, mate, I'm if it doesn't work? Back. Yeah, <laughs> Dad, we've done that DPF. Yeah, but we've broke the back end off. <laughs> we've ripped it off. <laughs> what do you mean, Well, I've uh, backed down the ramp. We've backed down the ramp into the forklift, didn't it? Into our safety forklift. <laughs> oh, no, I'm having problems with this now. No, he's in gear, isn't he? Speed, he the what? Yeah, he's going to start up in first. He's going to run into it anyway. Push it over that ramp. <laughs> Where are you going now then? Good job. Put the man's there with his computer. To... He'll plug it in and reset it hopefully. Right, update on this later guys. Back there, a chemical metal it inside that. It's had a hole in it, but let's hope it's cured it. You're a temporary fix, Chris. Yeah, you're right. Not leaking anyway, guys, isn't that? Uh, right, it's got that leak, but the original problem was another leak. And then he tried to take the top off, snap that, and then it pissed out there. So that leak's done, now it's got another leak on it somewhere. But we couldn't find the other leak without fixing that leak. If you know what I mean. This is also turned up from party, because Zach got this off a photo, obviously. I like to test Zach. And it looks like you've got it right again, Zach. Mm. I shall have to make it harder in the future. Like a bit of a blurred image. See if you can still get it correct, mate. You know, just a challenger. You know how I like to challenge people. People. Oh, look at that. Still got a bar of chocolate in there, look. That'll be nice. It's warm and all that. Be nice, that will.
even the pull is correct, Zach. Bloody good man, Zach. Well done, that man. Unfortunately, Zach, you failed at the last minute, mate. Uh, that there is captive in this one. Threaded lock. So I had to put a non bolt through it. So close, Zach, but yet so far away, mate, I'm afraid. And the rain's here again, obviously. Obviously, people. Oh, seat centre, innit? Oh, so annoying. I've got to change the bristles on here a lot because they've worn out. We've left it for a good bit, but we've got the money's worth out of it now. Uh, I'm going to use my new kilt and a gun. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've just fixed this as well because that weight thing there was playing up. If you hit it like that, you, 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 the levers weren't going up and down. And I took that panel off and the plug was like half in and half out. That was another uh, good fix. We need to get these off in super quick time. Wallace, people. Good old Wallace. He looks easy, don't you, Wallace? Good Lord, man. Got a nice clothes, nice shoes. Boogie down that bar. Fiddle tunes and old made boots, but it always goes too far. Well, that's not about that much. Get on with the job, man. Yeah, pool, crack a jack, take off now. <laughs> specialist out now because we cleared that exhaust out all that suck come out we cleared it all out the the dpf sign went out but the engine management light keeps on coming on and it's going in limp mode still all the time so we've had to ring our vinny up he's a specialist in this kind of thing we rang our vinny up and he thinks he knows where it is he plugged it in and he says dpf's it's cutting out because DPS too hard may cause fire. Yes. That's why it cut out. Yes. That's yes. why it cut out all the time. Since that DPS fault's gone, yeah. it's sweet as not apart yeah. from the fucking. Yeah. Engine management lights are on and it went in limp mode. mode, yeah. That's what you've got it's now. It's permanently in limp mode. That's what it's going now. That engine management lights are in limp mode. Do you like what our bird is wearing today or a tyre? Her mum says, uh, right, send me a photo of that because that's how you dress it up. Oh. But you, you picked this though, didn't you? That's good look, pink leggings, pink top, green shorts and green wellies. That's good that is, bird. Daddy hadn't done your fez either, have I? But we don't care, do we? Apart from it going in your eyes all the time. Go on then, Angel. You get going. See you in a bit, Farmer. Look at that. She's prepared. Look at that. You can tell from my daughter. Look, look. Tools in the back, people. Always be prepared for the worst. Oh, she's lost one. Just like a dad as well, look, losing the tools. The differential pressure sensor, yeah. so then it tells the ECU, right, we need to take the exhaust up to 600 degrees to Burn clean the out. Yeah. yeah. So it, but, but if these little things, yeah. don't know, so you're not going to get out of that anyway. No. As much driving as you want to do, you're not going to get it out of limbo. And I don't like driving. Sorry, baby's here. Josh is all about my tea making skills. No, have you got your own cow? Because you seem to use a lot of milk. Yeah, four pints to a cup. Yeah. These are always take the mick out of me. You know what I reckon, don't you? You know, if you don't like my tea, don't drink it. That's what I say. It still keeps drinking it a lot, don't I? It still keeps drinking my milky tea. I did. It's hard for me. I'm well renowned for me for me yeah. milky cups of tea. Don't rush around for one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even up, look. It's not even up, you can down it. Look, just brought that out. And he bought the cat, 
What I've got here is my, my, my nerve going down my leg. Sciatica, that's it. I've been talking to people, and it's definitely sciatica. Kidneys. Joey's looking at me. No, it's not the kidneys, mate. I mean, I've seen some things, Joe, but what is your dad wearing there? Looks like he should be on a market stall with that on. What's he doing? Oh, so come and get your bidet. <laughs> what is he doing with that on? Come and get your bidet. What is that? Bird, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, he's got a bloody, okay, sir, pound got pound a penny pound. bag on there. Cash in hand, cash five is pounds. king. Five pound a pound. <laughs> You're not used to this unprofessionality, mate, here. <laughs> oh, top don then. Top don. Oh, oh, top don people. You know, I like my top dons. I like my jump packs anyway. For your DPF requirements. Very, very good. Hey, Vin. I uh, didn't put your link in last time, did I, mate? You know why? Didn't. You know why? You can't put telephone numbers in that description. To, uh, they won't let you put telephone numbers in it. I need to show you one of my business cards now. That's it. They are up. There, that, that's instead of pouring it into the, descri the description because they don't let you put telephone yeah. numbers in descriptions. So they are up. That's it. Give me and there's the man you've got to talk to, isn't he? Yes, Any problems with your cars, vans, light commercials, Vin? Yeah. What about Evis? Do you do Evis? I don't do trucks, I just do no. the vans. Like Light vans that I do, all makes of vans. Uh, DPF problems and add blue Cause. and uh, back blue in. Few cars, Land Rovers, Range Rovers, they're the yeah. ones. Mainly vans. Okay. Whoa, that could have been nasty, mate. <laughs> Right, so Vin now has took off. This is the pat tank, Vin, isn't it? Yeah. These are full from manufacture, and it injects a bit of uh, fluid yeah. out of this pat tank into your fuel tank. Every yeah. time you fill up, it's got magnets in the spout, Vin. Yeah, right? in there. This is what Vin's talk, trip, trip, told me. Most of them have. That's how they're tripped on. So that every time you fill up, it injects a bit. This lowers the temperature in the DPF when the, the, as the diesel goes through it. lowers the temperature for passive regen so that the... Um, the actual DPF filter is not getting too hot and the risk of... Well, is that what that fluid does? That, it, it lowers the t temperature of when it's doing regens. Right. Drops it down so that you have less chance of cracking your DPF filter. Is that all that's designed for, then? That's all it's divine, designed for. It's just an additive into the diesel. Right. And that's it. And the, you need this replaced. Vin says it could be... It depends how you fill up. If you fill up, like, 20 quid every fucking two days like yeah. i do <laughs> it would it would inject in there more you see so you'd only do you might only do like fifty thousand miles but if you fill up your tank every time it might do hundred thousand miles it, this is calculated filled by the factory and calculated that but, if you yeah. if you fill your tank every time uh the amount of fluid in here will get you to hundred thousand mm. then once you've got hundred thousand your tank's empty because your engine management light comes on then you need me a specialist to come, come and change. The job out. Yeah, because you meant to change. You meant to buy that <coughs> complete, complete with the fluid in, aren't you? Yeah. So done by a main dealer. Yeah, but you can refill these then. Vanfix can come and sort the job out for you. Amazing. Vanfix. Okay. And this, you see, is another big money making scheme. Big money making. <laughs> <laughs> in it for the dealers, obviously. Right, oh, Vin's got some of that pap fluid. Look, he's just going to fill this little tanky up now with his with his little magical tools. This Look, there's a little sausage dog here, what we're going to have for dinner in a cob. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Bob's on, just investigating the sausage, just to see if it's edible. Uh, right, Vince filled that bad boy up now, we're fully full now, we're going to put it back on, and then you're going to have to, what you're going to have to do, Vin, check out what, yeah, go, go back onto the electrical side of it, you know what I mean, I don't know. Hey, are, look, he's already got it on now. Now what do we do now, Vin? What's the next stage, mate? The DPF cleaning now. DPF we'll cleaning. That. Oh, you're going to clean the lot and yeah. rev the engine up yeah. and all that, man. I'm going to do a DPF clean and then uh, we'll be setting all the parameters at the end and then we'll test it. So I'm going to inject the cleaning fluid now into the uh, DPF. It's like a really high intense soapy uh, solution that will, uh, as it goes through the, D the DPF filter itself, yeah. pushes all the soot out of it, cleans it. So you don't need the exhaust off that now? No, so no. I'm going to inject this into it now. So this is onboard cleaning, and then we start the vehicle up in a minute, use the engine to blast it to through. To blast the, it all through. To blast it. Bloody good shout. They're only good at making bread. They're only good at making bread. It's all about food, Joe. <laughs> I like it, Joe. Proper English lad Joe, isn't they? They're only good at making bread. There's Joe, French. <laughs> Hang on, we're having a phone bath here. Oh, look at all that.
Right, let's get an update on what's happening, because I've just got chip, chip for all the kids and that, I don't know what's happening. How are we getting on, Vin? Yeah, um, all the way. Oh, you've done it all? Yeah, we've got it all sorted Oh, the management out. lights off. And, uh, no, no trouble. No trouble. No trouble, mate. Yeah. No trouble. Nash. Nash. No I'm trouble, Nash. She revs up the oh, oh, she's beautiful, Vin, now, nah, mate. Like a new one. What did you have to do then? Regen it then? Yeah, so, yeah. We've sorted out that, cleaned the DPF. You took um, it for a test run? Yeah, been for a test run. A well, little bit of a problem with the fuel system, but Josh is going to get that sorted out. Oh, right. Run. But uh, yeah, DPF's now clean and uh, pack fluid tank's filled up. Fort Co's cleared. So yeah, she runs Job's out. good on them, buddy. Bang on. Bang on. <laughs> there you are. If you want anything, there we go, people. There we go. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Much appreciated, mate. <laughs> Josh, you want what do you say? Woo woo! Yeah, we do. Woo woo! Ben! <laughs> <laughs>